this is Cardinal Bird 5, Mets and today I wanted to bring you guys a video Toronto talking about some, some defense. We're going to be talking about defensive shifts, matter of fact. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been complaining about the, the online bunners, um, how to stop them, how to use shifts, and I've, I've helped a lot of people, especially during my live streams, they were asking me, you know, how do I combat this, how do I combat that? Uh, matter of fact, I've been helping a lot of people in their live streams. I see a lot of people not utilizing the shifts at all. So today I want to talk about how we can utilize shifts um, to maximize our defense efficiency and, you know, to get us, you know, so we can get to more balls, basically. Um, first, we're going to talk about bunt defense. So let me just get to the picture here. I'm going to be using the Mets and we're going to be facing the Blue Jays. So I would just want to get on the pitching side. Can you do that? I don't know if I can do that. Anyways, we'll just fast forward to the next half inning. We'll All right, jump so now we're on now defense. The bottom of inning number one. And the first thing I do want to talk Jose about Reyes. is the bunt defense. We'll so we got Jose Reyes leading off, off and this is an third. offline game, but we're going to pretend. I mean, this guide applies for offline and offline. So I want to show you guys how to use the quick shifts. All you do is hit down on the D-pad. Literally, when they come up to the batter's box and you're pitching, you just hit down on the D-pad. You have your infield and outfield, um, and you have all these options. I mean, there's not many options, but these are just the quick options they gave us. You can play in. Okay, if there's a runner on third, and you guys think that's an important run, you can play in, so there can be a play at the plate. Bunt defense, you have the corner infielders in. You know, I usually like to do this for leadoff guys. Because a lot of guys online will just try to drag bunt, drag bunt, drag bunt, and this will get them out most of the time. However, you know, be aware that if they, you know, can't the ball to first or third base on the ground, it's going to go past them a lot. Uh, you also have your extreme pull shift. They don't, unfortunately, they don't have the extreme left shift, but we'll talk about that later. We also have guard lines, one of my favorite defensive shifts. And then we have halfway. I don't really use halfway, but you could probably use halfway if there's a very slow runner um, at third base as well. And you can still probably turn the double play up the middle. So anyways, we're talking about bunt defense here. Um, this is one way to do it. Uh, that, this, is what is, this is usually what I use because a lot of people online are so stubborn. Um, you know, they'll look at the, uh, at the players and then they'll realize, hey. I mean, they'll still look at the players and they'll realize, well, I'm still going to try to bunt. Or, you know, the smarter ones will realize not to bunt. And that's when you want to pitch them high in the zone. Any, I'm, I'm talking about anything high in the zone. Don't really, you don't want to throw yeah, them down at all. Back you just want to throw play. them high in the zone. Even like sliders, curveballs, changeups, because most of the time these leadoff guys, and that's cut they're not gonna have much power. So you're, don't be scared do. to pitch high in the zone. Now here it comes. And with two strikes, you can take it off. I like to leave it on. It, it depends on your opponent. If they're that one. stubborn, just leave it on. I've seen people try to squeeze and bunt with two strikes, and it just it don't work. Uh, also, another very good pitch to throw against these guys is that high curveball, especially when they're trying to sacrifice with their pitcher. So that should help a lot. Uh, another way to access the bunts or to do a bunt defense is you can go to this menu. I, let me show you guys. You just hit start, go to defensive positioning, and then you can pretty much set it to anything. You can set it per player if you want. Like, okay, Jose Reyes, we want the shift always on. Um, you can set your, you can set all the infield. You can set your depth, third base cover drag. And you can also get creative with it. Like, hey, all right, well we have our third base cover drag, and I know he can't hit a fastball. Uh, you know, I know he can't pull a fastball. So, you know, hell, we could do something like this. If you guys want to get that creative with it, I mean, that's what makes these shifts great. And just keep in mind that the the shift duration is on always. So you're gonna have to adjust if somebody's on base. Right, and then we can do shift duration for you know always for every single batter. We can do it for one inning, and we can also set it to batter. Just this one batter, just this one time. Um, so what you know something you guys might want to do before the game even starts, go to all these guys you want to, you know, third base cover drag. And remember, third base cover drag is different from regular bunt defense. Bunt defense is more suited for. Like when pitchers are trying to get sacrificed down and you're trying to be ultra aggressive and throw them out, get a force out at second or third. 
third base cover drag is more or less just going to cover the drag bunt. Um, the, the bunt defense can still be very effective against this too, but hey, you guys can, you know, you get creative with it. You know, I, I would love to see somebody utilize shifts more online against me, and if you, if you guys are worried about the time, remember they added an extra minute of time, so if you can set all this before the game even starts, um, you're really going to give your opponent something to think about. But anyways, again, talk about bunting. You know, you can do third base cover drag, or you can do bunt defense if you want. You can set it to always, so you don't always have to hit down. And you can also just set it to, like, one player. Like, if I just want to do third base, bunt defense. And then I want everyone to see here, actually. Let's put everybody back to normal. Just normal. Straight up. And then we go to our third base. See, you can even do cover drag, or you can bring him all the way in like that. And then maybe for your first base, you could have him just play like in. You can have him, you know, play double play depth, bring him in, or you can bring him halfway, or you can bring him all the corners in, or you can bring him all the way in for the bunt defense. It's really up to you guys. You can get creative with it. Just learn your opponent's tendencies, and you know, you should be able to shut down the. Uh, the bunning game as well as the stealing game if you guys have watched and read my slide step video in article so this should help you guys combat those you know cheesy online players moving on I want to talk about spray charts for offline and then I want to talk about pool and push hitters for online you can see right here um, this is the spray chart for Russell Martin and um, let's see I want to just walk him and I want to talk about Hitters such as like Edward and Carnacion, Jose Bautista, who are dead pool hitters. This is this is more for offline right here in these spray charts. For online, it's a little different. But anyways, if you're playing offline, I have a Tampa Bay Rays franchise and I play the Jays quite a bit. So these guys are extreme pool hitters. Again, if we hit down, we don't have that option. We just have the extreme right. But if we go into the defensive positioning menu, what you can do is you can set it to Jose Bautista. You know, we can do infield and outfield. Let's do infield right now. And we can do, well, this is just depth. We can do double play depth. And then we can do extreme, extreme left. You'll still be able to turn this double play. It'll be really weird, but you can still turn it. Um, you could also just have your first baseman still hold the runner if, if you wanted to do that. I mean, there's going to be big holes, but, you know, make sure you pitch into the shift as well. Um, and then for outfield, you know, we could play deep and we could shift them all to the left. You know, it's pretty cool. I mean, um, especially playing the computer because they usually will hit to what their spray chart says. Um, it's not going to work every time, but I just, you know, I just want you guys to realize that we do have these tools in this, in this great game. Nobody likes to utilize them. Just take time and just when you're playing online, you have six minutes of pause time, so use it. All right. I know it might annoy your opponent, but hey, you know what are they going to do about it? You're playing real baseball. Who cares? Um, same thing for push hitters. All right. So say we have, we're say now say we're playing online. Regardless of the hitter, the spray charts don't mean as much for uh, offline. Let's just reset the default. You just hit square and reset the default. So. Say we have, say we're playing a guy that just does not have a quick bat and he's hitting everything to either up the middle or to the right side. What we can do is go to depth. Or no, we'll still play. We'll just pretend nobody's on. And what you want to do is shift to the right a little bit. You see how they all shift to the right? And then you got your guy shaded up the middle. You can also do extreme right, which I probably wouldn't do that. Because <laughs> that's like a dead push shift. Uh, most people. Can probably beat that but hey if they can't pull it you know just make sure you guys pitch to it make sure you throw fastballs away and don't be throwing like soft inside and letting letting them pull it um, you should be able to also manually like if I wanted to play my shortstop more up the middle I could do I guess I would have to do that and then I can move my third baseman over or I could just leave him over here Uh, you know, just play with it. Um, you know, that's that's an option you always have. And then you could have your first baseman hold the runner. Oops, that's depth. 
you could even have them play in front of the runner like that, and they'll still be able to. They'll still be able to. You still be able to pick them off if they take a lead. But that's how you hold it. So I mean, you guys can just mix it up, get creative with it. Um, just you know, if you're playing online, and you notice your opponent can't hit a fastball, that's something you might want to consider. You notice if they have a very early swing, you might want to go the other route. Uh, just play with the, just at least play with the menus, get used to it, and before the game starts or in the middle of the game, you should be able to make all these adjustments on the fly. Now let's talk about using uh, our park dim dimensions to our advantage. So I picked AT&T Park. Um, I know on the PS4 they don't have any of the classic parks, so we're going to just show you real quick a uh, defensive setup for this park to cover that triples alley over there. One thing we could do is just this. Um, since right field is really short, we can play most of the stuff off the wall and keep it to a single. Uh, but we're covering up the gap here, so that's something we could do. Or we could just shift them all to the. We could shift them all to the right like that, and then and then we could play our uh, center fielder deeper like that. That you know that could be another way to stop this. Uh, I like the other way better. But uh, AT&T AT &T is just an example. Every park's going to be a little different, and I, I chose AT&T because it does have Triple's Alley out there. If you're on the PS3, parks like Polo Grounds, um, I put an exact setup on how to utilize a shift for that park. Uh, we want to pay attention to our infield as well. So say we have a shift like this, and we're just going to pretend nobody's on. What I like to do, we're just going to play normal, and I like to guard lines. That way nothing can hit, be hit down the line. And you see, if, you see if something was hit down the line on the left side, it, that'd be an easy double, maybe a triple for a quick guy. Um, you can also shift them to the left to cover that the weakness in the outfield. So that's just something you guys can do. Could play straight up, I wouldn't do it. I would either guard lines or I would shift left to cover up that hole on the left side. But that's just, you know, just showing you guys that's something you can do. Parks like Red Rocks as well that have a huge outfield. You might want to play your guys deeper. Um, just make sure you guys know your your defensive limits, your capabilities of your players, their attributes, their arm strength, because you don't want to play them too deep if they can't make that throw. If they're great center fielders, you might want to play them just normal depth or shallow even at times. So that's just one way to use your parks, whatever park you're playing at, especially in Diamond Dynasty where you you can pretty much play at any park, and you can just kind of make a home field out of it. Uh, now we're going to talk about no doubles defense and guarding the lines. I was kind of already talking about that. But this isn't automatically utilized in the show. Basically, you just want to guard lines. Say uh, the winning runs on first base. You're going to have to do it yourself. You want to guard lines, and then you want to go to outfield. You probably just want to play them all deep like that because you don't want any ball to get past you. And In fact, I would probably shift my guys over like that because anything in the gap is going to score the run so if anything if something's hit down the right field line I think you can still hold the runner at first from scoring but I just wanted to make sure you let you guys know that this is not automatically utilized you're gonna have to guard the lines yourself and it's just smart baseball if anyone's played baseball you know you guard lines two outs play no double defense uh, anyway guys this is gonna wrap up the video for a defensive, defensive shift video um, I hope it helped you guys if you guys have any more questions about anything, feel free to comment. Please like the video if you liked it. And I hope this helped you guys out. See you next time.